Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is Torn Down the Middle, Chapter 5, and this one is titled A Pact. After arguing in the car for another five minutes, your mum threatened you enough that you got out of the vehicle. Slowly, you pushed the door open and hopped out. Bakugo's face fell, quickly replaced by a scowl. What's up, you rabid blonde llama? You said casually with an overly cheerful smile on your face. What are you doing here? He growled lowly at you. Listen, buddy, I'm allowed to be here. This is my grandma's house, so if you'd kindly trot on back to hell, that would be fabuloso, you said in the sweetest voice you could muster. Bakugo scowled. I was supposed to be meeting a really nice chick today. Yeah, that's me, baby cakes, you replied again with a hair flip for added effect. Mum, deal's off, Bakugo yelled, spinning around to face his mum, who was still standing at the car. No, the hell it's not, she yelled back. We've got too much riding on this. Hmm, wonder what their wager was, you thought. Well, your mum sighed, shall we go inside? You could cut the tension with a knife. You groaned. Back you go, made a noise. And with that, you were both ushered into the house by your respective parents. You need to be nice, your mum hissed, grabbing you by the arm and digging her nails in. This is for grandma's happiness. You grunted in reply, but the expression on your face softened and you glanced to back you go. He seemed to be getting the same dressing down from his mum. He sighed. I kind of feel sorry for the two of us here. Both hate each other and are forced to pretend we're cool. And your grandma chirped when she saw you. Oh, and uh... Bakugo. Bakugo Katsuki. Your blonde thorn in the side replied. Oh, yes. Your grandma replied with a shaky smile. Oh, you're such a handsome young man. Now I remember you when you were just a little tot with a smile that could light up the world. Smile? As if this gremlin couldn't smile. You pulled a face and your mum nudged you sharply. You took a seat and so did everyone else in the room, with Bakugo sitting across from you, casually leaning back against the wall, arms crossed and ruby red eyes glowering. It was obvious that he was unhappy with the arrangements, but he was holding his tongue, surprisingly. So, uh... Back you go. Have you met my lovely granddaughter, Yin? Your grandma asked, smiling across at you. Bakugo snorted and earned himself a sharp smack to the head by his mum. He growled under his breath, but didn't explode into profanities like you were expecting, and you gave him a surprised look. Yeah, we met outside, he said lowly. Uh, okay, so we're pretending that we don't know each other, you thought. Uh, yeah, we talked briefly, you added, smiling at your grandma. Oh, well... Would you two like a chance to chat a little bit alone to get to know each other? She asked with a twinkle in her eye. No. Bakugo's mum clouted Bakugo over the head. Yes. He seethed through his gritted teeth. Wanting to avoid the same treatment from your mum, you just nodded and stood up, and Bakugo followed you reluctantly out of the room. Okay, so what's the deal you got going with your folks? You asked him once you were out of earshot of the parents. Huh? He asked rudely. Yo, chill, would you? I just asked a question, he said with an eye roll. You getting paid to fake day me? None of your business. He snapped, crossing his arms and staring you down. Okay, fine, he replied sharply. But hey, if you want your reward, then we got to make it look like we're hitting it off for the next six months. Bakugo narrowed his eyes at you, but remained silent, so you continued talking. So, let's make some ground rules. He nodded. Okay, no hand-holding... No kissing, no touching. The hell? He said with a shocked look on his face. How the hell am I supposed to convince my auntie? I mean, people. We're dating. If I need to stay the hell away from you. You thought a moment. Uh, okay. Hand holding is okay. And appropriate touching, you added, narrowing your eyes at him. Fine, he said, extending his hand. Shake on it. You shook his hand. <laughs> it's a good thing that this only has to happen around family and not all day. I'd die otherwise, he said with a laugh. I guess I could be stuck with someone worse, he mumbled softly, looking away from you before turning around and walking back to the room. You stood there dumbfound. Wait, what? The next day at school, you came barreling through the door as usual and ran headfirst into someone. Oh, you grunted as you fell backwards, your backside hitting the ground sharply before your hands had time to catch you. Oh, my apologies. A velvet voice said to you. You looked up. It was Todoroki. Oh, 
You gasped, his heterochromic eyes looking down at you. Are you okay? He asked as he extended a hand to you. You took it and he helped you up, placing one hand on your side to steady you. Your body suddenly went hot. Do you need to go to the nurse's office? I can help you, he said softly, his beautiful face merely inches from yours. Ah, no, 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 um, I'm okay, you stammered nervously, your attention still keenly on where his hand was placed on you. Oi, a sharp voice called. You looked to see who it was. It was back ago. Ah, uh, good morning, you irate blonde pufferfish, you chirped at him as he approached you. He grabbed you by your shirt and tore you away from Todoroki's hand, making the jewel-haired heartthrob watch you be dragged away with an almost surprised look on his face. The hell's your problem, dude? You growled it back ago. Listen, we need to pretend that we're getting to know each other and looking like we like each other, Bakugo said lowly, looking around. What? Why? You asked. No one from our families is here, so we don't need to pretend at school. Wrong. My auntie will be attending this class as a kind of substitute teacher thing. Bakugo growled. She's doing this to watch us. Why is she so invested? You blurted out. Because, never mind. Bakugo said, averting his eyes. Just do it, okay? And there ends chapter five. Stay tuned for chapter six coming tomorrow. <laughs>